Hello crafters, the crafting showcase continues. Stay with us because this is a brand new show, brand new product. And this is Sarah who brings it to us. Love to see you, Hi, Sarah. Yeah. And Sarah's Peerless Designs. I was looking all over your website yesterday, reading all about you. <laughs> and uh, You may have seen Sarah here before. I think you've been bringing book folding. I have, yes. Just this recently is slightly book different, isn't it? This, what I'm bringing you today is, yes, much, quite a lot different. It's a different technique of book folding altogether. So if you love book folding, oh, this is a different this is technique, a different technique. Wow. yes. So it gives a totally different effect and you get so much more detail. Uh, then you can with normal book folding. So, okay. um, can we yeah, let's, let's okay? get I'll, on I'll, quickly like before we sell out. <laughs> <laughs> so, the great thing about book folding in either of the guises is it's once you've got the patterns, all you need is, a, is an old second hand book. Okay. That's all you need. And as long as you've got enough pages, and at the bottom of the pattern, it tells you. Uh, this says it's a cut and fold pattern only because they look similar. I don't want you to once you printed them out I didn't want you to get confused yeah, when you've got them in, in a, um, you might have them in a yeah, folder or that's something. right um, And it says you will need at least 404 numbered pages yeah. in your book Okay, so it tells you exactly what, what happens then if we get a book that's 500 right pages? well do we I will that? say for these patterns the more pages in the book the better Okay, have the extra pages because it will mean that your design sits in the middle So this one here I need at least 404. I'll go to the back and it's 414 yeah so i know that there's plenty in there to do it okay but i would even look for books with more uh, more in you know 50 50 extra pages is fine um so also <coughs> excuse me on your it's pattern okay. you've got a calculator so this makes it easy for you to to make sure that your pattern is centered so it says here can i just show, can yeah, show, sure. that? Can I just I show that to I the viewer i was looking for the overhead that's okay <laughs> Oops. There you go. So it says numbered pages in the book. Yeah. So you're going to look in your book, and I know that it's got 414, so I'm going to write it in there. Right. Um, minus the 404 on the pattern, and that gives you 10. And then you divide that by two, and it means that you start at the number five in right. your book. Got it. So okay. You so page you five. You said earlier you've done it all. Uh, yeah, I tried to. That's brilliant. That's I want brilliant. to make it as easy as possible for you. Okay. So I'm going to find number five, which will be there because it yeah. doesn't start. Does the library know you've got this? Yes, <laughs> they're discontinued. <laughs> my library's brilliant because it always <laughs> and they're, and they're like twenty pence. Oh my goodness! Honestly, it's like even cheaper than the charity shops. <laughs> yeah, I, I'm not knocking charity shops. No, I mean I, I like to, cheap anymore. When no, I was a kid, not. we always went in because it was cheap stuff. Yeah. But now you go. I saw a jacket the other day, forty quid. And they have a laugh <laughs> in a second-hand shop. Come on. Right. If you've um, used any of my other book folding patterns, it works in the same way. You the, you fold the pattern just about a, a third, quarter of the way in. <coughs> um, I'm just going to fold that out of the way. Just. With these ones, you're not starting in the middle, yeah. okay? With my other ones, you start in the middle. With these, you're starting number one, and the, the, the numbers go all the way through. So I've got a tickly throat, as usual. I always get one when I come here. <laughs> <coughs> Excuse me. There's, right. a lot, there's a lot of it going round, though. So the important like part, I've got some water here, okay. that's fine. The important part is at the top. These green arrows mean the top of the page has to line up with the top of the book, gotcha. okay? Yeah. I, I tend to pop my hand on the top there and just hold it so I feel, if, make sure it's not coming through too far. Slide it into number one. You're yeah. marking the beginning and the end. <coughs> Sorry. Okay. Um, and you're crossing off number one. So you know you've done that. Yeah. Okay. And then... Do you mark it all up and then cut later? Is that how you uh, work? Yes. Now, in the instructions, I tell you to every other... This, it says on here... Um, at the pattern is worked on every other page in the book. Right. Okay, so it's not like the other one, the other patterns. That's why I'm telling you it's, it's completely different. Yeah. So I've marked that. I'm going to fold that out the way, and I'm going to fold the next page out the way, and right. I'm working on the other one. Okay. In the instructions, it tells you to fold all these ones out the way first, go through and fold every oh, right. other one. So every other page folded. But because H of how should you fold that? I'll, I'll show you. Okay. I'll show you in a minute. Okay. So I've I've missed one. I'm going to go Michael. in again. Sorry, Sarah. Sarah, I've got to let him know. I'm, I'm, not, I'm not teasing it. I'm not squeezing it. 65% <laughs> oh, no. of the stock has got it. could go this hour. 
I'm sorry, I'm coming back. Can you get it now? Or are you going to be going? Okay. Should have got that. Come on, it's a great deal. Fifteen ninety nine. Don't forget the bundle as well. We'll show that in de more detail later. Right. So now what I've done is I've gone to the what is in effect the third page. I've marked that first one. Well, now you'll see there's another mark underneath. Now with the old type of book folding, that would be another page, but it's not on this one. Yeah. You're going to do it on the same page. So I'm going to have to get a drink. <coughs> That's okay. <coughs> I've got, I've got I'm some convinced I've got it's, some the, it's in the, the air drawer. conditioning in here. I'm convinced it happens to me every time. Okay. Oh, every time you come yeah. here. <laughs> <coughs> right, okay. So you've got every time you have a line on the on the page, you're going to do it all on the one page, yeah. okay? Yeah. Turn it over. <clears throat> Next one over. And this a page. Go to number three. Okay. So we've got that one that one cross it off and the next one as well you've got another one there cross it off yeah miss a page so that's what all you do okay number four some of them you're going to have quite a lot on the page okay right. but you just mark whatever's there on that line you're going to mark yeah before we move on to the cutting can we can we take let's take a moment to take a little break <laughs> so we can get okay in the uh, the instructions it tells you you're going to need a piece of card or a piece of acetate i use this template um plastic to make a template to, for folding because uh, the pages in between not the ones you're um, cutting. cutting, but the ones in between have to have a fold, okay? okay. So this is where you decide whether you're gonna have the um, text showing or not. If you don't want it showing, cut your template to so it's in the plain part of your page. Oh, yeah. If you do want it showing, you're going to cut it so you've got gotcha. text showing. Gotcha. So when I fold that back, it's gonna have the text in the background. Yeah. <clears throat> so for this one, I'm, go I'm gonna have it plain. Okay, so I've popped my template in. Now, make sure that it goes, if you turn the book slightly towards you, yeah. make sure that template goes right into the spine. And all you're going to do is fold the page back. What I do is I fold it, take it, the template out, and then use a bone folder on all your folding, whether yeah. it be this type or the other one. Get a nice crease, okay? Then you fold it out the way. Then the next one that you haven't, um, you've, you've folded the, yeah, yeah, that you've one, one out the yeah. way as well. Sarah, the next wh one. Whilst you fold these, let me tell yeah. you 70%, oh 70, not 17, 70% of the entire stock is now gone. If you want it, please come and get it. It may well sell out this show. I can never tell you it will, but if some of you could miss out on this, please take advantage of it. 363098. This is the very first. You can see it's volume one. It's cut and folding. So you've seen the folding in the past. This is cut and fold. And we're going through that technique now. So every other page in your book is just going to have a plain fold. And you're not going to do anything else with that yeah. page. It's going to stay as it is. OK. So this is going to be an outie. OK. This, OK. So like I say, you have to decide on an outie. On the outies, any extra pages you've got are all going to be folded back out the way like okay. that one was okay so I'm just gonna fold those have your elastic band on as well to tuck it all out the way now some of the some of the pages in your book because of the way signatures work you'll find that they're stuck together further up the spine oh, yeah so just ease it apart okay. you'll find every so often as you get further in your book you'll have to force the, it open a bit you yeah. know to, so otherwise you're uh, folds aren't all going to be the same so be lined depth, up. Yeah, 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 and you want them as, as uniform as possible really, so I'm just going to get those out the is way. Is it quite therapeutic when it you is. get going? Yeah, it is, and it's the sort of rhythm, thing, you? because you can go and just fold all these pages back like this, every other one, through the book, you could sit and do this watching the TV, Oh yeah. Um, and then when you're coming to the actual marking, yeah. then you, you know, give yourself a bit yeah. more um, time to sit and do it okay so i've got to my page now where the first marks are what i'm going to do is bring this the page before it that's already folded and i'm going to use that to for my ah, cut gotcha. okay so make sure you're not cutting the page underneath and you're all we're going to do fold, is you? up to the fold on those two marks yeah that's all you're going to do and then because it's a um an outie i'm going to take this first cut Fold it back again using the, the fold as a mark. And that one, 
what you're doing is you're mo um, folding every other fold. So if there was 10 fold um, cuts on there, mm -hmm. you'd fold one, this one, fold one, this one, all the way along. Yeah. Okay, then we're just going to ease them out and turn it over. So you've ended up with one little tab. <laughs> okay? Yeah. Put that out the way. I, I so guess it's, it's the next one I have growing and I haven't growing folded and growing. That, this one. Let's just fold this. Oops, this out the way. That was a bit heavy handed of me. Okay. Right, so the next one, there's actually four marks. So I'm just cutting. You're just doing straight lines yeah. into. Doesn't matter if you get a little bit wonky. It doesn't, no, no. Some of them are going to be quite skinny as well. The more um, intricate yeah. ones yeah. Are, are, can be quite skinny, but don't worry. You don't have to, it doesn't have to be perfectly straight. You won't see it. So again, now this time, because there's more, I'm going to miss one and then fold that little one back and then miss one, fold the big one back. Okay, separate the two, pop it back, fold it over. So I, I promised you it wasn't hard and it's not hard. It's, it's time consuming, yeah. a bit more time consuming than the other one because you've got quite a lot of marks and a fair amount of folds, depending on how intricate the pattern is. But it's not hard. Anybody can do it. Yeah. And there's no rush either, There's no it? rush, no. Take your no, time. Take your time. Fold that one back. And the next one. You're always missing one. Now, I'll show you if you want to do um, an innie. Yeah. I'll show you the difference because I've got one here. Just pop that out the way. Okay, this is the cat. Whoops. This is going to be the cat one. Yeah. Okay. So um, let's just get a, an elastic band for that one to keep that out of the way. So with this one, I'll just fold this. Yeah. Just make sure that's the same. Yeah. I have a few different templates and, and cut them at different sizes so that it, depending on whether I'm having it um, with a plain background or a... Um, a text background. Okay, so now with this one, we're going to do exactly the same thing. We're going to cut the marks, mm -hmm. but this time, instead of folding back that first one, we're going to miss that and fold the second one in. Yeah. And that will give you an inny. So it's exactly the same way of doing it, but you're, you're actually um, folding every other one from the first one in. Yeah. The other way, you're folding the first one, then every other one. So... It's not um, dif difficult, depending on which one you do. It's the same, but you're just folding, starting with a different fold. It's a good idea to make that template. Yeah, it's yeah. so much easier than measuring is, if, everything. When you make your template, don't have it too thick, okay? Because it's got to get right into the yeah, spine. Yeah. So it can be a thin card or acetate, acetate good idea, um, yeah. construction acetate, because it's, it's uh, sturdy. Yeah. Uh, that's why this plastic's really good. So, yeah. uh, And again, I'm going to cut cut and then the fold the second fold in instead of yeah. the first one just a reminder at home 70 percent of the entire stuff can't we call someone and get this <laughs> <Can't we? laughs> i've already given them more oh I was saying, <laughs> grab their arm and pull it we, we've got to be able to get more stuff <laughs> oh dear uh, it's always the way isn't it <laughs> yeah yeah <laughs> But uh, the great thing about these, these, this is a hobby is, like I say, it's once you've got the patterns, you know, you, all you need is a book, an elastic band. <laughs> you know, that's <laughs> it. <laughs> we've got some emails. Yeah, well, let's see if we've got any questions in here. This first one comes from Chris, who's in the Wirral. And oh, Chris hi. says, is that, are you, I'm presuming I'm you're from, from that Wirral, part of the yeah, world. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I thought I could hear the old Liv Huddleston <laughs> accent coming through. Uh, hello, Paul and fabulous Sarah. Sarah is so talented. Her Aww. book folding CDs are ingenious. Thank you. To produce these designs is already incredible, but to let us have them at the price is so generous. 30 patterns at less than 50 pence each is a steal. The patterns are so easy to follow and can highly recommend them to anyone wanting to follow this craft. Already looking forward to the next one. Hugs Aww, to all from you. Chris in the Wirral. Oh, we've got plenty more on the agenda, don't worry. Great stuff. <laughs> well, I, I think it is something you do it, and once you see a finished product or two or three, 
then you probably get hooked on yeah, this. Yeah, absolutely, absolutely. And they make such nice presents as well. I mean, and don't yeah. forget, you know, we're, us in the crafting world have seen this now, Buckvelden. But to other people, they've never seen the like of it before. And when, when you give them something like this, they're like, they cannot imagine how it's been made, you know? Yeah. And you can make it quite personal, um, especially with the, um, the, the um, multi-line alphabets that I've got there. The fonts mean that you can write any word, any name that you want. Yeah. So um, they, you can do people's names, you can do, you know, on your wedding day. And the, it's brilliant, you know, they, they make really, really lovely presents. So the ones you're looking at right now on the screen, these are the folding, they are yeah. the folding. This isn't cut and fold, this is just folding. Uh, if you are looking to get those, then you can go onto our website, creatingcraft.tv, and you can see some, not all of them are available now, but some of the CDs are there, and the bundle is everything. So if you want, if you want them all, yeah. go for the bundle, it's you'll get them all at a reduced price. price. Fabulous yeah. price. So when you look at this now... Oh, well, let's take a look at this. <clears throat> So we're, it's about halfway in, is that yeah, fair to say? Yeah, it's about halfway now. You can see the pattern, like I say, because you can see the, see what it's yeah. going to, to look so like. So it's a cat's tail. You can see it starting, yeah. See it starting. And they, they look different from different angles. Yeah, you know, well, all of a sudden that's, you'll... That's what we're creating, yeah. and this one is the pattern. Yeah. Okay, so Love you it. can see that coming along now. Yeah. So it, it actually reminds me, when you, when you see it like this, it reminds me of the old-fashioned music boxes and if you oh, ever yeah. looked inside you had little pins yeah. and little things that, and that's uh, as soon as i started it's, it's doing like a it barrel, that's what wasn't it? reminds it, 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 yeah. yes it reminds me of all the little pins sticking up um i've got one here that's obviously going to be a lot more complicated Holy so mackerel. start with the likes of the cat which are nice and easy um this one this. <clears throat> which will be great for mother's day it says mothers hold their child's hand for a moment and their heart for a lifetime. Now this one is going to be an inny, and obviously at the moment you, you wouldn't know what it's going to be, but you can see that um, it makes a lovely, lovely etched, etched effect. Yeah. But obviously with this one there's a lot. See how many, um, how many cuts you've got here. Yeah. Okay. You've got all these cuts here, so that you know do a couple of the easy ones first yeah. not that it's difficult because it isn't yeah once you've got it's your head around it you know exactly what you're doing but don't as you? long as you remember it's just every other um every other one you're folding back so what i tend to do is i'll just um put pop my bone folder and i'll weave it in and out in and out like you would if you were weaving basically yeah Okay, so you've got a few all together like that, and then I'll fold them all back. Right. And then just keep, lift your page slightly so you can get your bone folder underneath, and then just weave. Oh, yeah, because they are tiny, some of those, Yeah, aren't they? some of these are really small. So w when you get into doing the more complicated, intricate, intricate yeah. it's not complicated, that's the wrong word, because it's not. Just weave it in. You'll find it a lot easier than just doing every one by a, one at a time. Like that. Okay. Yeah, brilliant. And then because there's so many, what I do is I get my bowl fold, bone folder flat, and when I'm separating the two pages, I'm just pushing as I'm pushing the page together. Yeah. Grab the two together and fold it back, so so that you're not got those little bits ju yeah. jumping out, and fold it back. It, out it's the pretty way. amazing, isn't it? Because when you see that one page, yeah. <laughs> you have no idea where you no. are. But then as you start to see it grow, yeah. that is incredible. I love it. But you see, you could never get that sort of detail. You couldn't write that on a normal book unless you had thousands of pages. Yeah, yeah. Um, because it just wouldn't, the way normal book folding works, you could not get that level of detail. With Create and Craft. Now we're going back to the cut and fold, but we're going to show you how to decorate now. Okay. Um, a lot of ways I tend to decorate is with distress inks. Um, you can actually, um, before you start folding, especially if it's an outie like this one is, because you've got lots of little fine um, uh, sticky out bits, <laughs> all the technical <laughs> terms here, people. Um, right, okay, um, it can be a bit awkward with the distress ink, okay, because you might um, knock them and yeah. bend them out the yeah. way. So what I tend to do, if I know that it's an outie before I start, I will get my book 
I'll squeeze it together with my distress ink and use a sponge and or colour it before I start. Right, okay. Right. Because you've only got oh, because certain these points soft. sticking yeah, out, yeah. Um, the rest of it's getting folded out the way. So yeah. you're not going to see it. Yeah, okay? of course. Yeah. But if it's a if it's an inny, then you can't really do that. But this one I didn't colour before I did it. Yeah. And I thought to myself, hang on a minute, I've got a load of pan pastels. I, I, I really do love the way that you can see the text. Yes, in the background. well that's it. This is one it. of the ones with the text that you can actually see. I mean it should be the other way up, but uh, Anyway, uh, yeah, so, oh, that's upside down. Yeah. <laughs> there we go. <laughs> but, yeah, that's, that's the difference. You can either have it with the text or just blank in the background, okay? Yeah. But it gives it a bit more interest, you yeah. know? And, it and makes it stand out even more. Yeah, and it really does bring yeah. home that it's a book. And then after I'd finished it, I thought, actually, I think I'd quite like some colour on there. And even though I've already um, done it, it's, I think it's going to be okay. So... We're going to try it out, people. <laughs> I'm going to, again, squash it as much as I can. And mm -hmm. I've got some pan pastel here. Because it's quite soft, you can probably... I should, yeah. Oh, yes. Yeah, nicely. And I'm just going to pop that on there. And you can also sort of decide where, where you're going to get it as well. So I've got some green there, which I can just use the green pan pastel all right so yeah that's a leaf isn't it i'm trying to do this upside down so that i can you can see there you go so like i say you can use actually you can use spectrum noir pens you know the um because you get a nice chisel tip on them you can use those on them as well uh, maybe a bit of a bit of red in the in the center just to Oh yes, bring it to life. Yeah, yeah. You see, I was. Uh, I'm doing this. I've never tried this before, so I was hoping it was going to work. <laughs> <laughs> but yes, I think uh, it looks quite good. And you can just sort of flick, flick it gently, so you're not bending it, just yeah. to get the colour. And let's see, we've got some yellow here, which I can put on the on the butterfly. The yellow probably won't show up too when much. When you're painting, because you say you're originally a yeah. painter, are you watercolours, oils? Um, what do you like I'm to... actually mixed media. I, d I do watercolours and, or, well, anything really. I like to mix it all up. Right. Uh, use stencils and oh, all sorts of stuff. So, yeah, mainly watercolour though. Uh, uh, sorry, watercolour, acrylic. Oh, right. Mainly yeah. acrylic, yeah. Yeah. but yeah. I do mix it up and use sort of anything. Okay, <laughs> I'd use some, if you're going to use pan pastels, I would use some fixative. Um, and you can keep, sort of, keep going in there, but you've just got a hint of colour there, which just brings it to life a little bit more, which looks really nice. And of course, you've got also, you've got the spine of your book that you want to hide. Unless it's a book, sometimes if it's a book that you're um, particularly it means something to somebody yeah um, obviously you wouldn't hide the spine but if you've got any of my other cds this as i say this dragonfly is from my uh tangletastic cd i think it's again number three uh which you you've all had in the past and i'm using the backing papers off those any of the cds really and all i'm going to do is just quickly use a a glue stick i'm gonna pop some on the spine because you just want to hide it all and make it look as nice as possible which is the right way up that way yeah okay so again this, this all matches in and this, ties yeah, in nicely all the ties in nicely in, yeah that's right so i mean we've all got hundreds of backing papers so yeah. the you know there was no point in me putting them on the cd because we've we've already got them all yeah um so i find this is the best way to do it just cut it to size and then just pop it on and you can make it personal um, put the people's name on the front use your stamps I mean you yeah. can even if you wanted to go you know the whole hog do your mixed media using stencils and yeah. everything because the book um, you always use hardback books with these by the way um, not not paperbacks because uh, they have to be able to stand up yeah mm -hmm. yeah but because uh, the books are nice and sturdy you could do anything on the covers you know you could really go to town and have uh, polymer clay 
you know, any anything at all. So it's just, there's no limits with book folding. Absolutely no limits at all. So, you know, you're just finishing finishing the book off nicely and that yeah. this will be the, the dragonfly eventually. Well, That's why I put let, Let's take a moment to show you one that we've actually already completed. <laughs> I, I, I love this one because you've yeah. already got so many embellishments on here. Yeah. So again, it doesn't matter if you're just book folding or no. if you're cut and fold, you can add all these embellishments. This might be something that's in your crafty that's sash. That's it, yeah. Well, anyway. that's, a beer, that's a beer bottle top I've got it's on there. That and is. it's uh, your die cuts, you know, absolutely uh, brilliant. Any of your die cuts work fabulous with them. Um, <clears throat> and little bits of leaves, buttons, flowers. I mean, you can go, you can absolutely well, go. Well, let's show you some more because there are plenty here to have a look at. So take a quick look at these. Bear in mind, you, you could be decorating them in a particular colour for a little boy yeah. or a girl, for mum, for dad, maybe you know they've got a favourite colour. There's so much you can do. And that, that looks amazing already. Well, that it almost looks like tree, wood. Yeah, that family tree, I actually wanted to cut out some little photographs in hearts and put them and make it into a fact because it says family, oh, like a family at the bottom, tree, yeah. Um, but I ran out of time, but so uh, look at that sugar and spice. That yeah, just sugar shows and spice you is fab, how, isn't it? how detailed the, yeah. the cut and yeah. fold is. It's amazing. Yeah. And you've got a lovely Celtic cross there as well. So anyone who's a little bit religious, or we've got Easter coming up, of course, as well. Um, you've you've got everything there, you know, for well, all occasions. A quick.